Today we're going to be learning skill 14 of module 8. We're going to be talking about angles of elevation and angles of depression. So let's learn what an angle of elevation is. When looking up to an object, the angle of elevation is formed by an observer's line of sight in a horizontal line. So the angle of elevation, if you're on the ground, is the angle that you form with the ground. So we're going to do four examples of angle of elevation. You have to draw and label a diagram, round, uh, solve for the missing part, and round to the nearest tenth. So Casey sights the top of an 80-foot, 4-foot tall lighthouse um, at an angle of elevation of 58 feet. If Casey is 6 feet tall, how far is he standing from the base of the lighthouse? So I have a lighthouse, okay? The lighthouse is 84 feet. Now, here's Casey over here, and Casey is uh, six feet tall. So Casey can see the lighthouse and forms a right triangle like this. Well, the angle at which um, he sees the lighthouse is at 58 degrees. 58 degrees. So I want to know how far he is standing from the base of the lighthouse. Well, I don't know the hypotenuse, but I do know this here. This is going to be 84 minus 7 which is 70, or 84 minus 6, sorry, because Casey is 6 feet tall, which is 78. So this distance here is 78. So this from the angle is the opposite, and this is the adjacent. Um, I forgot to write down Sokotoa. Let's write it right here. So ka. Toa. So when I have opposite and adjacent, I have tangent. So tangent of what? 58 degrees is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. So I'm going to multiply both sides by x. x tangent of 58 equals 78. And then I'm going to divide by tangent of 58 divide by tangent of 58, and I get x is equal to. So now it is time. You should have gotten from Mr. P today new calculators. You guys are ready to use the graphing calculators. So I will try and fit the whole thing in the screen so that you can see what I'm doing. You're going to press on right here. If there's anything on the menu, like there's some numbers, blah, 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 you press clear right here to clear it off. So you should be on this screen. If you have trouble getting to this screen, ask Mr. P for help. Okay, now I need to do 78. Here's divided by. Here's tangent. Tangent is above the parentheses tangent of 58 and then I'm going to close the parentheses. So what's nice about these calculators is I can see exactly what I'm typing in. And I'm going to hit enter and it gives it to me um, rounded to um, hold on. We made a mistake. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I made a mistake. Everybody do this first. You need to make sure it's in degree mode. So hit this button here that says mode. Go down and make sure it is in degree mode. So instead of the word radian, you should have the word degree. So again, what I did was I hit the mode button. I went down three, four, went over to degree and hit enter. 
Now to get out of this, see the word that says quit and it's in blue? You're gonna hit second mode and you'll be back on the main screen. So we wanna do 78 divided by tangent of 58. There we go, that's the correct answer, 48.7. 48.7. Point seven, and it is in feet. Okay. The angle of elevation from a kicker's foot on the football field to the top of the goalpost bars is 17 degrees. If he is standing 131 feet from the base of the goalpost, how tall is the goalpost? So I have a kicker. I don't know what happened to his leg there. He's standing 131 feet away from the goalpost. I don't know how tall the goalpost is, but I know the angle from his foot to the goalpost is 17 degrees. So I'll zoom in so you can see that. So the angle from his foot to the goalpost is 17 degrees. So this is opposite and adjacent. So again, we have tangent of 17 degrees equals x over 131 equals opposite over adjacent. So I'm gonna multiply by 131 and get 131 times tangent of 17 equals x. So x equals, on my calculator, I don't have to press clear, I can keep working right here. I'm gonna type in 131 and then I'm gonna hit tangent of 17 and hit enter. And it gives me 40.05. I'm gonna round that to the nearest tenth, which is going to be 40.1 feet. Okay, Leah's mom is standing at the bottom of a slide on the playground waiting for Leah to slide down. If the angle of elevation from the bottom of the slide to the top is 46, and the slide has a vertical height of nine, find the length of the slide. So here's Leah's mom. She is standing some distance away. The vertical height is nine. And we wanna know the length of the slide. Well, the angle is 46 degrees. So what do we have now? We have opposite and hypotenuse. So when I have opposite and hypotenuse, I'm gonna use sine. Sine of 46 equals nine over x. Multiply both sides by x. x sine of 46 equals nine. Divide by sine of 46. x equals, now I'm gonna do nine divided by sine of 46. And I get 12.5 feet, 12.5 feet. Okay, a dog is standing five feet away from the base of a tree, looking up at a cat that has climbed 16 feet up the tree. What is the angle of elevation from the point the dog is standing on the ground to the cat? So here's my dog, he's standing on the ground five feet away from a tree. He's looking up at a cat that is 16 feet up in the tree, and I wanna know what the angle of elevation is. So here I have opposite and adjacent, so I'm gonna use tangent. This time, x is my variable for the degrees. I don't know the angle, so tangent of x equals opposite over adjacent, so x equals, remember this from yesterday, tan inverse of 16 over five. So let me show you how to do tan inverse on your calculator. So we can clear out everything we have, you don't have to. Right here, I see tangent inverse. Right here, above tangent, I see tangent inverse. So to hit tangent inverse, it's written in blue. So if I wanna access the blue buttons, I hit second. Then I hit tangent inverse, and it pops up right away. And it's tangent inverse of 16 over five, which is 72.64, which is 72.6.
So x equals 72.6. It's an angle, so it gets degrees. 72.6 degrees. All right, when you're ready, turn the page, and we'll go over angle of depression. So let's rewrite SOHCAHTOA at the top of our page. When looking down at an object, the angle of depression is formed by an observer's line of sight in the horizontal line. The angle of depression is congruent to the angle of elevation because they are alternate interior angles. So here I'm looking down. It'd be the same thing as if I'm looking up, okay? All right. A lifeguard is sitting on a platform looking down at a swimmer in the water. So it's exactly like this picture here. If the lifeguard's line of sight is eight feet above the ground and the angle of depression to the swimmer is 18 feet, how far away is the swimmer from the lifeguard? So he's sitting eight feet up on the ground. His angle of sight forms an angle like this that is 18 degrees from the swimmer. So here's the swimmer. Okay. I want to know how far away he is from the swimmer. So I can draw an angle, a uh, triangle like this. And this is also eight. And I want to know how far away he is from the swimmer. So if this is 18 degrees, this is the opposite and this is the adjacent. So it's tangent. Tangent of 18 degrees is equal to opposite over adjacent. So x tangent of 18 is equal to 8. Divide by tan of 18. x equals using our calculator, 8 divided by tangent of 18, 24.6 feet. Okay, number six, a pilot in a helicopter, um, spots a landing pad below. If the angle of depression is 73 degrees and the horizontal distance to the pad is 120 feet, what is the altitude of the helicopter? Altitude means height. So let's draw our picture. So I have a helicopter that's up here. That's the straight line of sight for the helicopter. The angle it forms looking down to the ground is 73 degrees. The horizontal, here's the landing pad. Land. Okay. I want to know the altitude of the helicopter. So I want to know how high up the helicopter is. And I know the distance is 1,200 feet. So again, I have opposite and adjacent. So tangent of 73 equals x over 1,200. So 1,200 times tangent of 73 equals x. So x equals 1,200 times tangent of 73. 3,929, or 5.02, so that just rounds to a nice 3,925 feet. You don't have to put point zero. Okay? Building A is 480 feet tall. Building B is 654 feet tall. If the angle of depression from the top of building B to the top of building C is 42, how far apart are the buildings? So I have building A over here, and it's 480 feet tall. Building B is taller than it. It's, this is B, it is 654 feet tall. 
Well, the angle, if you're looking down, if you are looking down to um, building A from building B, the angle in here is 42 degrees. So the angle up there is 42 degrees. So I have a triangle right here, and I want to know how far apart they are. So I'm looking for that X right there. Well, I need to know this distance here. This distance here is going to be 654 minus 480. 654 minus 480 is 174. So this distance here is 174 feet. So again, I have opposite and adjacent. So I'm going to be using tangent again. Tangent of that 42 degrees is equal to 174 over x. So x tangent of 42 equals 174. Divide by tangent of 42 x equals 174 divided by tangent of 42, 193.2 feet. So the buildings are 193.2 feet apart. Okay, one more. Zach is standing at the top of a lookout tower and spots a water fountain below. If the lookout tower is 75 feet tall and the angle of depression is 28, what is the horizontal distance between Zach and the water fountain? So Zach is standing up here. Here's Zach. He, his line of sight is like this. He spots a water fountain below. So there's the water fountain. His angle of depression is this angle here, and it's 28 degrees. So we have our triangle here. Now Zach is standing at 75 feet, and we want to know what that is. So this is opposite and adjacent. So again, we have tangent of 28 equals 75 over x. So x tangent of 28 equals 75. Divide by tangent of 28. Divide by tangent of 28. x equals, I'm not going to show you again on the calculator, 141.1 feet. Okay, you do not have a new homework assignment for tonight, but you do have the old homework assignments and two IXLs to complete, so you have plenty to work on for the rest of the period today. If you are done with everything, you can start on the homework that says review. This will be homework on Monday, but if you want to get started on it early, you can get started on the review homework early. Okay, good luck.